Here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Cozart. It's been a scorcher of a work week so far. Highs have consistently hit 95 degrees the last two days, and that's the forecast I have on this Wednesday. And as we check our Sky 10 camera network, notice a good, a good, a good amount of clouds, some low level clouds, and it even looks like some alto cumulus clouds. This time of year, you start to see that a little bit more, and it usually means the rain chances are a little bit higher there. Looking at our Sky 10 camera on top of the Science Museum, looking over towards the Cajun Dome there, you can even see the cranes there working on Cajun Field. Beautiful shot there. Overall, skies aren't looking too dark, but the temperatures are about the same they have been. 91 here in Lafayette. Feels like 102. Southwesterly winds a little bit stronger here. Uh, a bit breezy here the rest of the day. Temperatures still hitting about 95 degrees. Hot and steamy. Technically no heat advisory in place. A little surprised by that. It's the same dangerous heat and humidity we've been dealing with. This evening, something we're going to have to watch. I'm going to show you here in just a bit. There is a line of storms moving into northern Louisiana that may May reach us here. Models aren't showing it, but I've seen that scenario play out, so we may need to watch out for a line of showers and thunderstorms to work through Acadiana later this afternoon into the evening hours, and then still very warm, very muggy tonight. Temperatures cooling off in the mid to upper 70s. Not much going on right now within Acadiana. There has been some isolated showers and a few thunderstorms out there. Anything that's out there at the moment heading over to the basin right now. A couple quick little down pours, a quick little light shower there just north of Lafayette. That's it for the moment. An isolated rain this afternoon. Scattered rain looks more likely tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, and then more isolated and scattered rain chances Friday and this weekend. No washouts really anticipated. With everything's been fairly quiet, temperatures are still upper 80s, lower 90s, and that humidity is sky high, 75 to 80 degrees. Very tropical outside. The atmosphere is absolutely loaded with instability, heat, and moisture. So when we see those storms to the north, it's going to be rolling into an atmosphere that is ready to really almost, uh, let's say, uh, ready to blow up there. It feels like temperatures into the triple digits all across Acadiana. I have a set between a 103 to about 108 degrees with those isolated showers and thunderstorms. Finally getting the satellite and radar here. There's that line of storms. There are severe thunderstorm warnings right now posted just to, to the west and northwest of Shreveport. Again, if that line of storms is able to hold together, we may be dealing with severe threat here later this afternoon noon and this evening. Let's talk about the tropics. though. they're bubbling up a little bit. We have a tropical wave out there in the eastern Atlantic. The other tropical wave in the Caribbean Sea still shows some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity, but not nearly as uh, impressive as it looked yesterday. Still weak and disorganized. Both waves here, are very low chance of development. The one in the Caribbean Sea still on track to head towards the southern Gulf. If anything develops, it stays well south of us. Well out in the Atlantic, that's really the first tropical wave of the Atlantic that we've seen so far for the season. Small chance for development there. Models aren't all that aggressive with this either developing in anything. And once it reaches the Caribbean, it tends to fade away if the models have it developing into anything. So future track again, here's 5 p.m. It does not show any type of line of showers and storms. It usually doesn't handle those types of events very well. So something we're really going to have to track through the afternoon hours really brings it in late tonight there. It's trying to hint at something, but that's way too late. That's 3.30 tomorrow morning. It will be here well before that. And then more scattered of showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow and that's really showing up on your bodar. So if you need to cut the grass and you've had some quiet days at your house, take advantage of that hot and steamy again. Hydrate, take those breaks as much as you can because we still have dangerous levels of heat and humidity, even though we're not technically under a heat advisory this afternoon. Mid to upper 70s at night, touch cooler to tomorrow because of the extra clouds and a little bit better rain chances, but right back to 93 to 94 Friday and this weekend, some isolated scattered rain each and every day and that will continue into early next week. That's a check on your forecast. We're going to be back in a few minutes.